Hello and welcome to this week's live weekly warm up. I'm really excited. This exercise actually came up in this month's um, monthly master class, which was a lot of fun. Um, and I really enjoyed sort of working on this with the uh, people in the master class. Uh, so I wanted to share it with you because I think it's really helpful and it's a really fun little exercise. And it's all about getting comfortable crossing the break. Um, so if you're not familiar with what the break is on the clarinet, it's this connection between like A, the second space of the staff up to the third line of the staff B. And this is often referred to as like crossing the break. Um, it also works for like B flat or A sharp going to B. It's basically the transition from the first register of the clarinet, the shalomo, up to the second register of the clarinet, the clarion, where you have to start using that register key to, to play in the next register. Um, a lot of younger students I find have almost a complex about crossing the break. I know I did when I was um, a kid in school. I, I, my teachers and my band director would always say like, oh, be careful, like we're crossing the break. Make sure that you, you don't play it badly. Um, and that made me really conscientious and nervous about crossing the break and actually doing this. And that causes some other issues with tension and changing things to like try to make sure I'm able to cross the break effectively. And I think I want to just sort of eliminate that. I wish we could just erase the term, the break entirely. It is a little bit useful to know that you're going from the first to the second register. Um, and there is a little bit of trickiness to it in terms of coordinating the fingers. And that's really what the hardest part about it is. But I think we're so used to hearing that like we need to take care of crossing the break that it really freaks us out and makes us start changing our air and changing our embouchure. So don't do that. If you have any psychological trauma surrounding the break, it's okay. We, we all do it. It happens to the best of us. Um, but it's really easy. And once you practice it and, and realize how easy it is, then it's, it's less of a big deal. And it's more just about coordinating your fingers. And that's exactly what today's exercise is about. Uh, I call this B jumping jacks. And basically what we're going to do is you want to set up in such a way that you can like maybe hold the clarinet on your knees and in your mouth and be able to take your hands off of the instrument. If you're not able to get that um, situated, sometimes it's harder if you're like for kids and, and shorter people, like if your um, torso isn't long enough, it's hard to rest it on your knees and have it balance in your mouth without it like slipping off. So you can also do this with like keeping your thumb underneath and just being able to move your fingers really far away from the keys. So let me demonstrate this exercise first. All we're gonna be doing is playing that third line B taking our hands off the instrument and then bringing them back and the goal is to make sure that we're able to land in the same spot with our fingers and really get all of the holes covered on the B every single time we come back to it. So the exercise goes something like this. And it's super simple. All you need to do is make sure that right when your fingers cover the keys, you're able to get a B to come out immediately. If you're having anything where you have like squeaks or grunts, anything like this, anything like that as you're coming back to it, then it means that you aren't covering the holes completely, or you might be tensing up your embouchure or not supporting with the air properly as well. So that's another sort of secondary thing to maybe think about and, and check in with yourself is that you're being nice and relaxed. The purpose of this exercise, of course, is to get the B to come out as relaxed and easy as possible right when your fingers get back to the keys. Another 
pro about being um, relaxed is that if you do happen to land like slightly off center, if your fingers are really flexible and, and easy and, and not too tense, then oftentimes your, your finger will sort of just slide over the hole and, and find where it needs to be. If you land and you're like really squeezing and super tense, then your fingers aren't going to go anywhere and you're going to be stuck with that leak. So part of this exercise is being really relaxed and easy and having fun. You can be really silly with what you do with your hands in between. You can maybe just getting used to coming right back to it, finding that fingering and having your fingers be comfortable living over those holes. It's the whole point of this exercise. Now, of course, when we're actually playing, we don't want our fingers to be flying away from the keys so much. So the next step to this to actually translate this comfort on the B over to a smooth transition crossing the break is to actually do some crossing the break. So you can either go from B down to B flat or you could go B down to A. And what you're going to do is just feel really comfortable about where your fingers are on the B go down to A and then come straight back to that comfortable spot where the fingers are. So that exercise will go something like this. So you can see it's super simple. My fingers are barely moving at all now, but they know right where all of the fingers are for the B, right where those holes are, so I can just land on them very effortlessly. You can then, of course, speed this up once you're really comfortable and once you have a really smooth connection between them and start to go a little faster. And as long as you're keeping those fingers super relaxed and super close to the keys, keeping your embouchure steady and your air steady, then it'll be super easy um, to move from that B to the A and then back up to the B, which is the part that everybody always worries about and struggles about is going from the A up to the B. But you can see it's really easy. It doesn't take any effort at all. It's just a matter of really good finger coordination. Um, there's some other little tricks with getting from the A key back down to the hole, which maybe we can talk about in another live weekly warm up. If you think that would be helpful for you, go ahead and leave a comment on this. And of course, if you have any other questions about this, um, feel free to leave a comment about it and I'll answer that even after the, the live version of this. So. Thanks for watching. Um, I do want to tell you a little bit about where like the inspiration for this week's video came from. I've been doing this B jumping jack exercise with some students. Um, I think I first started doing it just a few months ago. It's a, a bit of a newer exercise, but I find it to be a lot of fun and really helpful for finding those keys. And the reason why I decided to do it this week is because last week we had the May monthly master class where one of the students in that group was having some difficulty going from A to B. So I went over this exercise with her more in depth there. Um, and as, as really fun and I'm excited to see how much she improves next week when we have our June monthly master class. Um, if you're interested in having some like monthly one on one or like group on me <laughs> um, trainings where we get really nerdy about the clarinet and you come in and get some practice performing with other people and get to meet a few other clarinetists uh, and work with me and get individualized feedback about what you need to be working on and what would be the most effective to sort of take you to the next steps in your playing, then you can actually join the monthly master class, which is open for enrollment now. It is um, $27 a month for like the full version where you get to come to the class and you get to play um, at least every few months. Right now we have a pretty small number of people in there. So right now you'd be able to play every single month. And depending on your skill level and, and everything, it might even be one-on-one. -on -one. So it'd be a really good deal actually for a, a private lesson with me for just $27 um, each month. So if you're interested in that, go to quickstartclarinet.com slash masterclass info, all one word masterclass info. Um, and you can get more information about joining that. There is also a $5 version where you can just watch the replay. So you'll still get all of the information that I'm working on with other people. You won't get as much information one-on-one -on -one or, or individualized to you, but you will get um, all of the fun exercises that I'm working on with them. This um, 
B jumping jacks exercise was just like one small part of, of all the other fun things that we worked on in that class last week. So thanks so much for watching this video. I challenge you to do the B jumping jacks this week and see how easy and effortless you can make crossing the break. It's not hard. It's not scary. It's just getting the fingers coordinated and staying steady and relaxed and you'll be in great shape for all of your break crossing needs. So thanks for watching this one and I will see you next week in the next live weekly warm up. Bye.